Welcome back, it's me Lou. For today's Warhammer vlog, I'm going to share some basing tips with you, especially when it comes to Necrons. Alright, so um, with a lot of Necron models uh, that I've seen on the internet, um, a lot of people like to base their Necrons with like these green Necron crystals. Um, I'm not sure if the green crystals are supposed to like represent warp stone, you know, even though it kind of looks like warp stone. Um, I've seen some people uh, provide tutorials on how to make, you know, the green crystals. And, you know, f I think for some people, I think one tutorial I saw someone take like old sprues and then you cut them up, shape them out so they look like crystals and then you just paint them green. Uh, for me, I'm very lazy and I, my whole attitude is, you know, work smarter and not harder. So then I was kind of thinking to myself, you know what, I'm sure I could probably find like broken glass, you know, that's green or like even just small green crystal crystals themselves and just glue them to the bases. Uh, so I went around on Amazon. I couldn't find anything perfect I was looking for. So I'm like, you know, what? let's try my local Hobby Lobby. So here in the United States, uh, we have these craft stores called Hobby Lobby. I went in into the shop and I combed around their, um, I think it's like their custom crafting jewelry aisle and then i found these i found these um they're called mosaic accents they're glass pebbles and they're green um, i got these for 4.99 and as you can see they're nice kind of like green smoothed out broken glass pieces and i'm like you know what this will be perfect <laughs> for my necrons and i'm like you know let's just try it out so now this isn't like this does not trump, you know, like some of the custom green Necron crystals I've seen online. But for me, it's a quick, easy, lazy way of just like adding another piece to your base to like give it a little bit more bling. And here's my uh, one of my Necron warriors. And then, you know, I just took some PVA glue uh, here in the U.S. I used Elmer's uh, white glue. It's the same glue that kids use in schools. For me, I've had very good success with Elmer's glue. Um, some of the, like crafting PVA glues, they don't dry as clear as I'd like, but I've never had any issues with Elmer's. So I just, you know, put a dab of glue, drop the, the green pebble on there, and there you go. I have my Necron crystal. It's not as sharp or as cool looking as like, you know, one you can make yourself, but for me, it gets the job done. It's an easy, quick fix. Adds a little bit more detail to the base. And then here's my Royal Warden uh, with a crystal also. This crystal, it, the shape of the crystal almost looks like an, like a crystal ball or an egg. So I'm not sure if that's bothersome for some. But I do know that if you look around online, you could find actual like broken glass pieces that are green. Though I, I just kind of refrain from using like that because I think they might be a little bit too sharp. And the last thing I'd want to do is, you know, pick up my mini and accidentally cut my finger. So yeah, here's my Royal Warden with the little tiny green Necron crystal right next to the skull. So yeah, I just, you know, I just wanted to share that tip with you. Um, you know, a bag like this will probably last me <laughs> three lifetimes and, you know, a dozen Necron armies. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. All right, so let's wrap this video up. Uh, once again, uh, my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe and take care of yourself. And I'll talk to you later.